me being here. Guess what I'm doing? I'm not showing you where I am, that's for sure. I don't know if I'm gonna see anything good tonight, but I've seen turkey sign, hen tracks, and poult tracks, that's good. Uh, I better be quiet, I'm coming into the next field. We got a couple fields to watch I haven't watched yet this year. And I just quit talking and we got deer number one. We ain't even back to the good field yet. And I can't even see most of this field. Show me your poults. I saw poult tracks. I'm pretty sure these birds have got youngins. Oh yeah, there's all their young. Oh yeah. Oh, there's even more of them. All right, so this is another one of those spots like where you see a lot of deer this time of year eating soybeans and then season comes around, bachelor groups break up and uh, the bucks kind of not just leave the fields but leave the property because like a lot of areas here in Middle Tennessee, there's a lot of, a lot of funny property lines and uh, once they get into the woods very far at all, they're on another property and there's a bunch of thick nasty stuff that's all private that I can't hunt. Uh, that's uh, around these fields. So uh, the only good thing is, the only thing that could be going for me is, see behind me these, these big trees up here, those are uh, red oaks and there's more of them going down uh, the next field, the edge of the next field and it's just kind of a little bit of public that I can hunt and a lot of it's real thick. Some little cedars and like some CRP type stuff. It's nasty thick stuff so it's good bedding cover and if those oaks are dropping good and I'm finding deer sign in late September, early October, I could potentially still kill a deer, potentially kill a good buck if they're still hanging around the area. But the property lines make it very tough to actually hunt all the deer that I'm seeing in the summertime. But I still like seeing them. Who doesn't? I, I just got a glimpse into the next field and saw a small bachelor group. And right at that moment, that doe that I bumped, she was right here in the fence row and jumped and blew and ran off into that field blowing. So those bucks are going to be on high alert. Good looking deer, a couple good looking deer. Um, there's some more like does and stuff, a little spike thingy. Does or something. Yeah. There's two does out to the left of these deer. I think one of them's the one I spooked. I don't, I don't even know. They're definitely on alert, but they ain't spooked yet. She done it now. I'm gonna have to come out here and shoot a doe. She done it. Ah, there she is. You're dead meat. Tell you what. Oh, finally she gone.
I just noticed this little buck over to my left. He got a lot of potential. Assuming he's a young deer, which he probably is. Sorry about the glare from the sun. It's making it look foggy, but it's not foggy. It's just where my camera's at. That's yeah, definitely a young deer right there. Lots of potential. He'll likely get shot during rifle season, but if he makes it, he'll be a nice deer next year. I'm not going to shoot that one, so I'll give him one chance. If y'all want to know how I keep the ticks and chiggers off, I haven't haven't seen a single tick, and I won't have any chigger bites after this. Uh, I, I've done a video a year or two ago explaining the different brands of permethrin you can buy and which ones I use and why. Uh, I'll drop a link down below to that if you haven't seen it. Some of y'all probably have, but it is a lifesaver. I mean, if you got a bad enough uh, disease from a tick, it literally could be a lifesaver. So uh, that, and it saves you from a lot of agonizing itching for like two weeks after they bite you so uh, check that out if you haven't link is in the description but uh anyway the sun just dropped below the tree line not quite down below the horizon yet i'm gonna just haul butt out of here and check a couple more fields before it gets dark might see something else She done it. Checking some more fields. Got doe, two does. There was a buck down there. I don't see him anymore. A little buck. Nothing to get excited about. But let's go check the backfield where you can't see from the road. Alright, run little ones. Get out of here. There's a big red oaks behind him there. When these beans turn yellow, if those trees start dropping, it could still be a good spot to hunt. Couple of little deer there. Well, I made it to the last secluded field, and there's not a single deer out here. Figures. Anyway, we saw a bunch and some turkeys. That was always good to see turkeys. Hope y'all enjoyed. I'm starting to run out of bean fields to watch. Well, technically I can keep going and, and checking new spots out until I don't want to drive any further, but it's almost time, no, it is time to start getting in the woods and, and picking out more specific places that I may want to hunt this fall. Marking oak trees on onyx, marking heavy deer trails or trail crossings, funnels, all that good stuff. The stuff that you can't necessarily see on the map, but you can mark it on the map and uh, remember to come back and check it during season and see if the deer are in there so that's the kind of scouting i'm going to be doing in the next month or two so stick around i'm not saying i'm done watching bean fields i'll definitely watch some more but we're going to start diving into the spider webs here pretty soon i'll see you all next time